New opponent, same goal. That's the mindset of Flint native Clarissa Shields as she gets set to defend her undisputed title against Maricela Cornejo Saturday at Little Caesars Arena. Earlier today, we got a chance to speak with both fighters about making history at the first ever boxing event at LCA. I was just happy that they found me another opponent. I mean, I'm not going to harp over the harp over that, you know, Hannah Gables was tested positive for a band stuff. I'm not going to harp on that. I mean, people was cracking jokes and when they were saying that if they were getting ready to fight me, that they would do, you know, stuff too. So, I mean, I wouldn't, but um, at the end of the day, we got a new opponent. It's Marcella Cornejo. She's younger. She's taller. Um, I got a whole different task in front of me, so that's what I'm focused on now. I was preparing for my own fight, so... Um, I told my team, I was like, hey, if the numbers are right, great, you know, we'll, we'll take it. Because they sound, they have a problem. I don't have a problem. I'm going to be fighting three days after her. They got a problem. <laughs> so, you know, let's, let's make it make sense for me. Because in the past, they've, they've offered me this opportunity. But life was, you know, challenging me and, and not, a lot of things in my life weren't right for me to be mentally okay to step in the ring with Clarissa Shields, but I heard it loud and clear that now was the time. I send her a message and I'm like, I don't care if they offer me $5, <laughs> I'm taking this fight. Like, it's time. And I have zero doubt in my mind that come Saturday night, I will be what she calls herself, the greatest woman of all time. Well, well I think skill-wise, uh, Maricela and Gabriel's is probably still on the same, like, wavelength as far as skill-wise, but I think that as far as in power, I think that Gabriel's may have been stronger. But, um, you know, we all know that Marcella is younger. You know, she's younger, she's taller. Um, she don't got as many miles as a Gabriel's has. So, you know, she's a fresher opponent, and, I, and she may put up a better fight than what Gabriel's would have put up. Clarissa has done so many great things for boxing. I won't, I won't take that away from her. You know, every single woman in this sport, that's why we're in this sport, to make a difference. And everybody, big, small, whatever it is, we're making a difference. So. Come Saturday night, it's another, you know, two women in there who are making a difference. It means a lot to me fighting here in Detroit, to have this big homecoming because my homecoming in Flint was messed up. You, you be telling God, oh, I want to fight at Door Federal in Flint, Michigan in front of 6,500, and God be like, no, we're going to put you at Little Caesars in front of 15,000. So I think maybe I was just thinking too small and, you know, God wanted me to, to up my game. So, so I'm here, and I'm just excited that I get to perform in front of you all.